Hello, Sim the World here, back playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. On today's video, we will be diving into a few orders, including working on brakes and suspension. Please join us as we get our hands dirty, working our way up towards having the top garage. We left off having finished our first order, where we had to replace all the tires and the fluids in the vehicle. Why don't we see what else there is left to work on? So we see we have two different brake jobs. Why don't we take the Maserati? Sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. I don't think in reality a small shop like this would be getting a car of this caliper, but let's throw it up on the lift and see what we can do. First thing we want to do is get this up in the air. Well, that lifts. Let's take a look at what is wrong with the car. So it says we need to replace the brake caliper, the brake disc, another brake caliper, and the brake pad. Two calipers, brake disc, and a brake pad. Should be simple enough, right? Well, that's getting up in the air. Let's go buy our parts. Click over on brakes. We need two calipers. We need one brake disc. And we need one brake pad. Let's come on over to the car and see which needs to be replaced. We go over into examine mode. You can see this caliper front right needs replaced. Look over here. This tire looks the brake. The caliper is fine. The pad is fine and the disc is fine. So let's head over to the back. Where we see this back caliper needs replaced as well. Finally, here we need to replace the disc and the pad. Both are lit up red. So why don't we dive right in and start removing the tires? And with the tire off, we get a better look. We can see how rusted the, the disc is. Let's take off the caliper first so we can get our way in. We'll remove the brake pad and the disc. Switch over to part mount mode. We can choose from a better quality condition part. We'll replace it with a new disc and a new brake pad. Finally, we'll replace the caliper <clears throat> that we took off. Mount that back on. And we'll be mounting the tire. So again, once we get the first perk we'll unlock, is going to be quick unscrewing and screwing. Come over here. And we are going to take this tire off. We want to replace the caliper. I don't know about you guys, but when I take my car in to get fixed, get the brakes and rotors done, I usually get them done in pairs. However, it looks like this Maserati owner is cutting a few corners, wants to save a few bucks. So we're going to replace this caliper, and we're going to reuse the old brake caliper cylinder. Those usually don't go bad on these cars. I think it's a flaw with the game, but that's alright. This game isn't perfectly realistic. As we see with the brake order jobs. Finally, we're going to jump up front where we needed to replace the last brake caliper. Once again, we'll remove the tire. Only replacing one caliper. And we will replace it with a good part. Cylinder is again alright, so we will put that back in.
with the tire mounted. This should be the last item before we complete our job. Let's take a look at our car's status. We've got check marks on everything. Completed it to the satisfactory condition. Now we can finish the order. And that is our first brake job. Why don't we come over here and see what else we can work on? We can work on the brakes on another Maserati. Let's go ahead and throw it up on the lifter. Here at Sim the World Garage, we like to believe that our cars are fixed to the highest caliper. We know this wasn't the same Maserati coming in from before. We took care of their brakes correctly. Again, we will come over, take a look at the car status, and it is a similar list of defects. So, I'm not going to waste your time. Let me roll through this very quickly. We'll get this next customer on his way. And with that, we finished our next great job. We go back to the car status. As you can see, brake calipers, brake pads, and the brake discs have been replaced. Once again, another job has been finished. Ooh, look at that. We've increased the level two. We run over to our toolbox. We can again check out the perks that we can unlock. We have the choices between 50% faster part examination or 50% faster screwing and unscrewing. Yes, please. So only make the grind that much quicker. So let's check out our next job. You can either do another brake job or we have another story job. The job description says, I read in the newspaper that the timing component should be replaced more frequently than recommended by the manufacturer. The same goes for all the oil. Please check both of these things and replace whatever you decide is needed. That sounds like a great way to make some money. We can replace a lot in this vehicle. <laughs> Alright, so it looks clean enough. Let's get it over on the lifter and see what needs done. Again, we'll get this up in the air. Take a look at the list to see what needs replaced. Ah, they're not hand-holding us anymore. They're not giving us the parts we need to replace. We need to find what is wrong. But the first thing we can do is change the oil as they requested. You remember from last video, that means we're just going to come over here, move the drain, the oil drain pan to underneath the car, and let the oil run. Get this out of the way. Since they talked about timing parts, we're going to be mostly in the engine bay for this job. Before I get too carried away, let's fill that oil. Be careful not to overflow the oil. That wouldn't be good and the customer wouldn't like that. That's plenty. Now, if we go into examine mode, you'll see that none of the parts light up red. They have to be listed in the job status or found. So let's see what else we can do to find these parts. Well, one easy way to finding bad parts in a new looking car is to look for the rusted parts. From here, you can see the ignition coils need to be replaced as they're all at 28% condition. Since we're looking for timing, let's take a look at the timing belt. If you're not famili too familiar with cars, the timing belt, the timing chain can be found on the engine underneath the accessories. Take off the idle roller 
take off the crankshaft pulley. And we'll need to replace, remove the water pump. Now we can get up the timing cover. As suspected, we can see the gears are pretty rusted. The timing belt was fine. The can gear is at 20%. The other's at 25 you can also see there's a bit more rust in here. We're going to need to take the head off the engine. With those bolts off, we can take a better look at the top. We need to replace both camshafts. Now let's take a look and see how many parts we need. Ooh. Good. We found all the parts that need replaced. We need two camshafts, two cam gears, and four ignition coils. Let's head over to the computer and put those in in order. Need two cam gear. Need two cam shafts. Take a look further. There they are. And we need four ignition coils. Search functions on this is pretty great. You don't have to type in the whole word just to find one part. With that, we should have all the parts needed to finish this job. We're going to replace this in opposite order. Install the camshafts. throw back on the engine head. We don't need to be in there anymore. We'll replace the cam gears. And finally we can replace the rest of the parts that we've taken off. Let's look at how much quicker the screwing back in of these bolts are. That's fantastic. Crankshaft pulley on. The idle roller. The water pump. And let's get the serpentine belts on. Belt tensioner. Let's come back up to the top and put the coil packs in. And with that, our job should be done. Let's confirm by checking the car's status. We got check marks on everything. Oh boy, they're paying out. $2,200. We're making some money now. We're up to $7,000 and we're at level 3. Come take a look at any perks we can unlock now. Our new options are 50% faster part installing and removing. And that's that's interesting. 10% faster walking. Who doesn't like to walk faster? Burn a few more calories. And 5% discount in shops. Well, if we're going to make any sort of real money, we're going to need all the discounts we can get. So with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I stream three days a week. Once again, thanks and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.